Hey everyone! I have decided to do another video and show you guys the Moonlit Arch and also show you guys some of the more um, terrain trays that are older versions with the texture mat on top and show you how they hold up when some of the magnetic pieces are placed on them. But first let's look at this beauty. I'm very happy with these. They are gorgeous. They are resin, so no magnets. Everything is incredibly well made. Don't mind my painting station. <laughs> it's a little crazy because I've been trying to paint all of these wildlands, as you can tell from my hands. As most of you know, this does separate. So now I'm going to place my phone in this little holder, and I'll show you guys some more of these things. The detail is incredible, and whoever did the paint job did a fantastic, fantastic job. It's slightly shimmery. It looks like it's coming through in the video. It's kind of hard to tell. It does have the no-skid bottom on all of the pieces except for the tree. The tree does not have the non-skid bottom. If we can get it to stop moving. The two sides are not exactly identical. There is slight changes on each side to the um, carving, but it looks fan. Fantastic. And this is really solidly in there. As you probably heard a second ago, I knocked it over and it uh, didn't come flying off. These are definitely not like Dwarvenite. You, you cannot treat these things like you do the other pieces. Um, all my other Dwarvenite, I have a different storage solution for them. These stay in the original box that they came in and they get out when I use them and right back in the box. Okay. I'm very leery about any of the old resin pieces, specifically because they are so easy to break. So one of the things I wanted to show you guys was the um, texture mat on top of the light panel, the Dwarven Forge light panel that came out in Hellscape. So we have the light panel, the original overlays that came with it. If you um, guys have seen any of that um, Kickstarter, this is what that looks like. And it's shiny, glossy, it looks great, very high resolution. When you place this over it, you can't really tell because of the glare, but it, um, it definitely gives it more of a 3D effect. It's probably not coming through in the video very well. And it would be hard to use in this setting anyway, unless you're gonna be creative, just because the terrain trays are so much larger than the light panel. So now I'm gonna show you some of the other pieces with the um, train overlay the turn this back on so here we have the uh, gibbering mouther I believe is what it's called with the overlay that is way too shiny so I mean some of them it's going to be much more applicable than others there's the slime I 
I was asked if the pieces hold on well when they have this on there. They do. It makes no difference whatsoever. Um, this is one of the ones that came in the Wildlands, so I decided to try some of the other pieces so you could see for yourself. Here's one of the caverns. Here's one of the um, uh, Dungeon of Doom. And another piece of caverns. And it doesn't completely hold this one still, but it, uh, it does hold it on there. So, um, here's the Titan's Tooth. I know some people were concerned about this. I haven't finished painting it. It's I've only got the gray on there, but it looks like it's gonna hold up pretty well too. It's starting to slide, but uh, it, it seems like it's doing the job. Now we have the muck. And this one it really goes well with. Unfortunately, it's just a little too reflective <laughs> to show it properly in here, but it looks great. Here's one of the crystal caverns. And again, this one really helps as well. It makes it pop. It's probably not the exact texture that you should be going for. I don't know if they're gonna come out with others, but they do look great with this. Here's the new ones. And here's one of the old original river terrain trays. One thing I did notice is the old terrain trays versus the new terrain trays. There is a very, very slight difference in size. And that is all. So this I made the other sides match up and that's the overhang from the old one, which is on the bottom to the new one. All right. So if you guys have anything else that you would like me to show you, I have no problem. You'll just have to bear with me while I try to get it shot and posted for you guys. All right. Bye.